Hi guys, uh, good afternoon. Um, hope y'all are doing all right. Today is, um, let's see, April the uh, 22nd, um, Saturday. Um, so yeah, another day, guys, another day. Okay, I had a uh, more dreams last night. Lord, he's definitely been giving me a lot of dreams lately. Um, so I had more last night, and I want to let y'all know about those. Um, so there were, um, pretty much, from what I remember, I remember three different ones, um, and the, um, let's see, the, 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 um, the one I remember, yeah, definitely... The longest one is it opened up. We were almost like in um, like a room, and there were a bunch of line rows of seating, almost like you know church pews, almost like that, like kind of like just rows of like like pews. But I don't think I was in a church. It was more like a smaller room. I, I don't think it was a church though. And um, in the in the, the dream, there were other people in it, and it began like we were almost dancing. Um, it was almost like um. um you know, choreography, and so I used to be in choir in high school, and sometimes we'd have this dance and stuff, where we would have to, essentially, you have dance moves, and each person has to follow the same exact dance move, um, so y'all are all in sync, it's, 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 a, it's a choreography, and, um, that's what we were doing, and see, I haven't done any of that stuff in a long time, I don't even care for dancing, um, I would only do that pretty much in choir, and that was like years ago. And so the dream had opened up. Um, pretty much, we were there, other people, and we were like doing these like dance, um, dance moves and stuff. And um, there was the one, there was a, a a younger lady, and she was, I guess, like almost like the instructor watching over us and making sure we were all keeping and doing the same exact moves and doing them in sync. So, so we had to do them in sync. And, um, so that's what, um, she, she was watching. And as we were dancing, um, you know, I was struggling. I've never been a good dancer. I, I never have been a good dancer. I've never cared for it. And, um, so in this dream, I was struggling to keep up. I was even trying to watch the, the person next to me at a certain point trying to keep up. And I was just having trouble. And so, it, and it's like, almost like the, the, like us as a group we were almost moving like back more back back further and further almost like we were like um dancing through the rows of the aisles like the the, the rows of seating and um and so as we're doing this I um I, I started you know I'm, I'm lagging because I, I'm slow I'm slower than everyone else while doing this I started lagging behind everyone's moving back further in the row while I'm more towards the front and um this instructor lady at a certain point she 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 um I think I explained to her I'm like you know I'm having trouble you know I can't keep up I'm having trouble and she she got like mean saying like essentially like it's like threatening like oh we're gonna knock off your grade or you you're you, you you're not keeping up and and I think I remember saying like this isn't even like you know this isn't even choir practice what you know this is like what's going on here um, because it wasn't, like, it didn't feel like back then in choir, it was almost like something where it wasn't that important, it almost felt, like, unimportant, I even told her, like, this isn't choir, like, why are you making this such a, like, a huge, you know, deal, and she's just threatening, we're gonna knock off your work, great, your grade, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that, like, threatening me, and, um, so, in pretty much at a certain point, it reached it, the point where I believe I was basically in a row by myself while everyone else was behind me and um I was more towards the front of the room so I was in the front while everyone else was behind me and um and then at a certain point I just broke down and um I think sat down and started crying and saying and, you know praying to God like saying um I um I was essentially I was telling him so in this dream I yeah I started like crying telling him I I hate this life I don't hate the people in this life, but yes, I do, I do hate this life, I, I don't hate the people, I hate the life, you know, I hate my life, 
and that's what you know that's the way I feel I really you know I, I don't have hatred for anyone we're not supposed to hate anyone in this life um, that's very important we're not supposed to hate anyone in this life um, because what's in your heart that that's what the Lord looks at and um, but it is true I do hate my life I, I don't like it here at all it feels weird I know y'all don't feel who feel right here either we don't fit in one bit in this world um, we don't fit in one bit at all and um, that's um, essentially, yeah, I, I sat down in one of the, the row and just started crying, you know, to the Lord and saying, you know, I, I hate hate this life. I don't hate the people in it, but I hate this life. And that that's the truth, actually. And so um, that is the truth. And um, um, and pretty much after that, I, I um, yeah, that ended there, that dream. And so, yeah, I think that's basically saying, honestly, I thought about it. I think it's when, you, when Jesus, he said the, the, the first will be last and the last will be first. I believe that's what that dream represented because as, and I believe the people doing the choreography dance moves is all of us in this world. And the, the people doing this choreography is, um, to do and doing those dance moves in sync. I believe that represents people, um, following what's in this world and they're following each other and they're all trying to follow um they're trying to do the same thing so everyone's going with the flow and if you look around everyone is going with the flow um they don't realize what time it is they just don't understand this is the end and um, most people are just following what's in the world so i believe that's what the bulk of the people they were following what was in the world and so as the time as as it went on the dream progressed the people started moving further back while i I was essentially at the end. I was in the front by myself in a row by myself while everyone else was behind me. So I believe the Lord was saying the first will be last and the last will be first. That's, that's what he says. That's what he said. And, um, and I believe that's what he was letting me know in the dream. Us who are not pursuing what's in this world, we are going to be, um, first in the kingdom of heaven, um, versus those who are pursuing what's in this world. Um, so I believe that's what the Lord was saying. And, um, yeah, and at a certain point, I just broke down in the dream because that lady, she treated me or she treated me really bad. Um, I didn't have any hatred for her in the dream, but, um, when I broke down, I just, yeah, in the dream, I was like, just crying to the Lord. You know, I don't, you know, I hate this life. I don't hate the people like, as in, I, I don't hate that lady and I don't hate anyone else. I just hate this life. Like, and, and that's where, yeah, I'm, I, I have trouble, you know, we don't blend in. Is I believe that represents I couldn't keep up with the other people because I'm not blending in, and um, and we definitely we don't want to blend in in this world. Definitely don't want to blend in. So I believe that's what that dream was. Um, the other, let's see, there was another one. It was pretty short. We were at a um, it was like yeah, it opened up and I was like at a uh, you know like a big rectangular almost like you could say dinner table and there were people all around it, people to the left, people to the right. I was at the, one of the, the, there's on a rectangle table, you have two end seats, so one on either end, and then you have a bunch of tables on either side. So I was on one of the end seats, and um, straight across from me, I was looking at, I, I, it almost looked like maybe some sort of, maybe like a priest or, you know, someone with authority, his cloven, I, I believe is someone with authority in, in, a, in a church possibly or something. It looked almost like a priest, maybe, or something. And um, I was just staring straight at him. He was looking at me. I wasn't really paying attention to the people to our left and our right on the the sides of the table. Um, I was just pretty much staring straight at him, and he was looking at me. And then that's where that dream ended. And I thought about it later when I woke up. I, I think that that represents, um, once again, those those who are, um, when the Lord said, those who are last will be first, and those first. Um, in this world will be last essentially so um, I believe that because I thought about like wait yeah those are the seats those two seats are like typically like yeah if, if you're when you're um, the people of authority sit at the end the end seats so like in a family it's usually the, the mom and the dad one will sit at either end on the end seats and I believe in the, the guy who I saw at the other end seat across from me that was like a some maybe a priest or, some, or something so um, he looked like he had authority 
and um, he had authority. And I believe that's what the Lord's saying is like, um, I don't know, maybe I'll have some position. I mean, we're each going to have work to do in the kingdom of heaven. Um, but he, for, for those who are not pursuing what's in this world, the Lord is going to have us doing some pretty big things, I think, honestly. I don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing. Um, I'll be glad with whatever ha he has me doing up in the kingdom because I know what he has me doing. Like, it, it's going to fit me to the dot to the T. Like, it's going to be perfect, and I'll be happy, and everyone else is going to be happy. So I'm going to just follow him, whatever he wants me to do. So, but I believe that's what he's saying. He has work in store for me. I don't know what exactly, but um, but um, he's definitely going to have work for each and every one of us. And so, yeah, those were the two. Um, there was a third dream. Um, what was it? Oh, yeah, it was weird at a certain... Yeah, that dream. There was one almost like I was around people who were... It was weird. They almost had like a... Um, they were almost talking about like they might have had like a some sort of ring or a necklace or some sort of object like they wanted to wear or purchase or something it was a i think it was like a pentagram type thing and i was telling them i'm like no you do not want to buy that don't buy that or don't wear it or something i'm like what are you doing and they, they're like oh no it's not a big deal oh you're just like you know worrying over nothing like basically saying like i i'm you know, I'm completely wrong. That's not a big deal. And I was like saying, basically warning him, no, it's like evil. You do not even don't want to have any of those symbols or nothing like that around you. And then, um, that's pretty much pr where that ended that dream. I just believe the Lord saying that's like, yeah, a lot of people, they don't even know what they're doing these days. Like you do not want to be wearing any like, um, like a uh, jewelry with like, yeah, wickedness, like pentagram stuff like that, like witchcraft stuff. So I believe that's what the Lord was saying. People don't even know what they're doing. The stuff they're wearing, um, the stuff they're purchasing, they truly don't. I don't think they know the implications of what they're doing and what evil they're, what doors they're opening and what evil they're letting in their lives by doing stuff. Or, eh. And so, yeah, I believe that's what the Lord was saying. But yeah, those are the, those are the three dreams I want to let y'all know about. Um, keep your eyes on Jesus Christ, guys. Um, Oh yeah, and also one thing, when I when I woke up from that dream, I thought I almost heard in my spirit look at the, you know, look what time it is. And so I looked at the clock, it was 8:44 a.m. I was like, that's weird. And he was, I see the 44 a lot. I see it all the time, 44. And so I believe the Lord, he was just um yeah, and then I realized today's April 22nd, so 4:22. I'm like, that's weird. Double a 422 is 844. I'm like, that's really weird. I'm like, maybe the Lord's saying something. Not exactly sure. But, um, maybe with timing or something. But, um, yeah, I woke up at 844 from that. And, um, or at least from, yeah, I believe at the 844. Yeah, when I woke up from that, I believe that was the one with the, um, when I was trying to follow people with the dancing and I couldn't. I believe that was that dream. And the other ones where I, believe earlier in the night but um or earlier but um yeah i want to let y'all know about those um just stay focused on jesus christ stay in his word and keep separate from this world and i um hopefully i'll see y'all soon guys uh good day guys goodbye